application process. Look, the government is saying that they need to get it out of the residential neighborhoods. There was a lot of abuse in the system, and this new system that will take effect next year will essentially take it out of the neighborhoods. It'll commercialize it. It'll be a lot more stricter uh, to prevent the abuse that we've been having. What are your thoughts on that? It will be, it's more regulated than the current program as it stands. There's no doubt about it. This is the current application that one has to fill up to become just a licensed person. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to fill up. This is what we turn, you have to abide by. Different sets of organization, different sets of rules, different sets of regulations, follow one of the Food and Drug Act, compensation, insurance, costs that are going to be increased due to this program. Honestly, I'm getting second doubts. With the cost factors involved now, and the people that I'm catering to, or would like to cater to, they're not going to be able to afford it. There's no way. Most of them are on social assistance. Remember, this is medical marijuana. We're not talking about recreational marijuana. That's a different story. Mm -hmm. Keep that for the black market. I'm only interested in production of legal medical marijuana products. And until we can do legally exploit what this plant can really do. There's people out there that are elderly that don't smoke. Has anybody considered them? Okay, let's get that, we'll get to that in a sec. Let me just clarify here. So what is, uh, so right now, when, if you grow it yourself, you know, how much are you gonna pay for it now compared to the new system? It works out to approximately a dollar, dollar fifty a gram. Currently. Current. A dollar, dollar fifty a gram. And under the new system, what do you estimate? It's gonna to average pay? anywhere from eight to 15. Eight to 15 dollars. And there's no way anybody that's on social assistance will afford 15 or 20 grams at one given time. There's not enough funds there for it if they're on social assistance or disability. There's no subsidization whatsoever until it gets maybe passed down to the provinces. Maybe. When that time comes, there'll be further changes. Currently, we have to abide by municipal rules and regulations. Uh, any city ordinance. So, for example, a uh, city of Toronto can invoke a program that states no growing within the city limits. That takes it out of the jurisdiction now. So there's ways and means that that can be done through the municipal, provincial realms of mm -hmm. politics. Then you have the federal standards to go by. So they're compiling more laws, more regulations, more rules, more bylaws that is making it harder and harder and more expensive. To go into, for example, uh, to an industrial area to grow, this should be in rural areas, away from cities, away from people, no neighbors, so in case there is a fire, your house isn't burning down. For security concerns, also. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're growing in a house, you're subject to home invasions, you're subject to a lot. A house was never built to grow marijuana in. Mm -hmm. okay? And that can also be stopped with insurance companies, banks, because banks don't give you money to grow up in a house. Mm -hmm. Plus, mold, mildew issues will always remain in the house. So even if the person leaves, the next person who buys it might have kids. Next thing you know, they have to get air inspections, they're gonna be potentially breathing in the mold, and that's not good for kids. So I understand that and I agree with that. That's why it should be taken outside the city. Now, the programs is ending come yeah. March. March is the final, and that's all. Unless it gets challenged somehow in court, I can't see it because public safety is the issue. Mm. And the person's safety too is ever lower than the house. So with the with the new changes in the program, I mean you're still only left with dry marijuana and you find that as a big concern. A very big concern. We have already accomplished a lot through our lab. We've already profiled plants, we we've, we've experimented with over three thousand different types of strains, profiling a plant, how they grow tall, wide, mm -hmm. how they produce. This is all in the research that New Age Medical Solution has done already. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that is not needed. It's needed to show that there is alternatives to smoking. Natural ways without harming people. Through it, spaghetti sauces, butter, cookies, uh, arthritic hand creams of different sorts. There's one, and now there's two. And we have about five or six different variations. It smell it. He doesn't smell like marijuana. Not at all. Not at all. Because once you liquefy it mm -hmm. and mix it in, it's already liquefied. So your your formula CBD, CBNs, Delta One, Delta Nice. Now this is without THC. You don't have to have THC. I just so this won't get you high. No, not at all. 
No. Not at all. Not at all. It's just pain management. It's it. Strictly, strictly pain management. I have no cures for anything. I have pain management. Strictly pain management. And that's so what the intention of everything is supposed to be. At, at the end of the day, that's what the intention of the government is, isn't it? Well, I hope it is. Because if it was the intention of the government, then they would be looking at this in a more scientific, serious manner. This is not just a street drug. It's no longer a street drug. This is a medication. God put it on this earth for a reason, to help people. Where you have heroin, poppies. Where you have coca, cocaine. So when pharmaceutical drugs are exhausted, what choices do people have with the addictions that's occurred by the pharmaceutical medications? There's not enough rehab centers. There's not enough detox centers. Where are people going to go after their doctor says, no more, you're cut off? They're going to resort to the street. And that's where you get the heroin use and the cocaine use. So our society is rumbling that way, where it's become so dependent on traditional Western medicines for depression, anxieties, uh, suicides. These kind of products will help. So, so under this system, under the new system here, can you? Are you not allowed to do any of this? I mean, I, pick it up like you were before. Pick it up. You know, show me what uh, what you mean. Like you know, talk about the elderly and how. All of that. For example, can you see an elderly person smoking marijuana, whereas they'll have the same relief with a cream, with a candy. They'll have the same relief and or better with a cookie mm -hmm. to sleep with instead of a sleeping pill. And if you have a problem with eating the whole cookie, break it up in four pieces and have a piece every two or three hours. And you don't smell, you don't stink. If you got pain in your wrist from arthritis or lower back, it's cream. It's medicated cream that you can use that filters through your pores and alleviates that, that pain that you might have without having to take a Tylenol 3 or a Percocet or an Oxycontin. And other ways of consuming, there's a drink that I've developed for myself, spaghetti sauce that I put the CBD, CBNs right in the sauce, and you don't scent it, you don't taste it. You don't have to smoke it. You don't feel any kind of burning in your throat. No, nothing. And you're not getting high. And you're not getting high. You're getting pain relief. So is this what you see as a major gap or a major flaw, even with the new system? Oh, yes. It's definitely. I mean, they, they'll give you a research and development license, but we still can't produce. I cannot sell you this butter. This is for me. I cannot sell any of these products to anybody. I make them for myself. And my application in Health Canada was based on bacon and cooking. I just found the method that I needed to do without having to have bone uh, marrow of marijuana stuck between my teeth and everything because I have, this is where it's from. It's from the marijuana that I made all these products from. So without this, I can't, I can't do these products. I'm not allowed, for my health reasons, I can't even have an aspirin. That's how bad my liver is damaged mm -hmm. due to pharmaceutical medication, which is medically documented. So I'm not saying, go ahead, look at my medical file. If you want to research stuff or a test case, come talk to me. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know what I'm doing to keep myself alive. I have a right, under the Charter of Rights, to maintain my, my livelihood. I have to live. And there is nothing traditionally Western that I can consume that's going to alleviate my pain without either an addiction or damaging my liver even more. So I have, yes, do I have an issue with pharmaceutical medication? Yes, I do. Do the doctors control it or does the medical association control it as good as they can? No, they should do a better job at it. How successful do you think you will be with your commercial license application? I feel that we will be very successful with our uh, with the product, even in the marijuana that we grow, we grow it organically. We grow it with no carcinogenics, no pesticides. Uh, we don't have those those problems. No, but what I mean is, do you think you'll be do you think you'll be approved? Do you think your application will be approved? I can't see why not. I mean, bar hold anything else. I mean, I've been involved with this program for a very very long time. I've advocated enough for the rights of people, and uh, I feel that this program isn't being given the utmost ability. There is more that can be done with it, and not just by means of smoking. Mm -hmm. So look at the alternatives to smoking it and getting the same relief from it, and by being able to consume it naturally, without even have to turn around and smoking it. So the federal government has a multi, 
million dollar campaign on them to quit smoking cigarettes, but yet they're encouraging you to smoke marijuana. It doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. So somebody that does never smoke a cigarette in their life or has never consumed anything like marijuana in their life, well, why not try something different? So how would they don't even know how to roll a joint, per se? Mm -hmm. And some of the people that you would talk to, and because of the clinic, I've been having a deal with this, having a deal with the senior citizens that never smoked before. And I said, look, until we do our clinical trials, I can't help you, but I have to do clinical trials on all my problems first. Does to it make sure that they're approved by the government. Does it concern you that you haven't been approved yet? I mean, we're seven months away and you haven't been approved no, yet? No, not at all. Not Nobody's not. been approved yet. That doesn't no, concern I'm you. Not, not, that's the least of my worries is getting approved. My concerns is getting everything up to code, mm -hmm. everything up to par, so when they do come to do their visual inspection, there's we've abided by every condition in the book. Mm -hmm. There is not one thing that I want to leave out. And I, like I said earlier, I'm getting second doubts because as we're starting to crunch the numbers, it's mm -hmm. starting to get higher and higher and higher, and some poor things to see coming are like, if it's medical marijuana, in Canada we don't pay taxes on medical pharmaceutical prescriptions. Mm -hmm. Well, this is prescribed by a doctor, and it's controlled by the federal government. And so by alleviating the drugstores to not dispense, that means we're not in the database. By not being in the clinical database through drugstores, there's no monitoring structure. You can go to five different doctors. You'll get caught eventually, but you can go to five different doctors, five different producers. Mm -hmm. We all have our own record-keeping programs, mm -hmm. but it's not linked up to one major database. One flaw that I see a concern, mm -hmm. that people will be able to go to numerous doctors and get a three, five gram like a prescription, which is valid for a year, mm -hmm. and consume it by doing it that way. So you're saying that under the new